everyone in this tutorial I want to show you all how I make shorts using Wondershare Filmora and you want to use something a bit more professional like a point and shoot camera or something more professional than this to still make shorts well you could still do it and I'm going to show you how and then you could take those shorts and upload them onto Instagram onto TikTok onto YouTube and other social media platforms so here I have Wondershare Filmora open and I have it open to the folder that I made uh, for shorts that I want to post on YouTube as well as to make these into TikTok videos as well so I'm going to choose one of these so I will choose this one to make into a short so I am a fire buffer so I'm one of those that take videos of fire engines or medics or ambulances or even police and take video of them and it's a sport there's a lot of us around the world anyway the original video that I took last summer is this long and I'm not wanting to have all of that for the short. Now this in and of itself is on YouTube, but I just want a snippet of it for a short. So I think I will start around here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this. I could click on the scissors icon or just put control B and that would just cut it. I click this and press delete. And now I'm going to come back up here and see how far I want to take this and I want to take it around here so control B or press the scissors and delete and so my short will be about 20 seconds generally uh, between 15 and 60 seconds is optimal so I'm just going to watch it and see that this is what I want to make into shorts the thing is is it has to be either a 9 by 16 or a 1 by 1 and I'm going to show you how you could change the aspect ratio. And so the first step is to go over here to this icon where it says preview quality and display settings. I'm going to click on change project aspect ratio. And I'm going to make it instead of 16 by 9, I'm just going to make it a 9 by 16. If you want a 1 by 1, then you have that option here too. So I'm going to click 9 by 16 and everything else looks good for me and I'm going to press OK and then you see that the video is very very small that's because the video is still widescreen but you could change that by clicking on the video and then clicking the crop button and here you could change the aspect ratio to 9 by 16 and this is what it would look like however uh, for me it doesn't seem as centered as it could so I'm going to change that by just recentering it just a little to the left. And I'm going to preview that. And personally, I like it a bit better. You can see that it's cut off just a little bit. And this is what I do if it cuts off a little bit. I'm going to go up here where it says pan and zoom. And I'm just going to have it pan uh, ever so slightly this way. And I'm going to see how that would look. And so far, so good and it doesn't really cut off the the front of the fire engine as much so to me this seems ideal so I'm just going to see if I like it all the way to the end and I do so I'm going to press OK I don't necessarily like it when the sound just has a hard stop so I could take this right here next to the audio part of this track and I could make it fade out by however many seconds that I want so like four seconds and that sounds better you could do the same thing at the beginning but there's also another way if you want to use transitions so I'm going to pull up transitions and I could choose from a plethora of them so I'm just going to put uh, dissolve and if you notice the sound fades as the video fades and you could change that however you want you can make it dissolve shorter or longer and you could do the same thing again toward the beginning. So, um, what you could do now is you could use titles. There's so many things that you could choose from. You could add effects or elements. And you could also add audio. If you want to mute this, you could just uh, take the audio and bring it down. And you have a whole list of uh, audio files that you could use if you want to do that. So I'm not assuming that every one of you are fire buffers, but I'm just saying this is how I would make a short. Um, and then titles, uh, what I personally do is I have some on my in my custom folder. I have one already saved where it has my information 
right here. I will adjust this so that it's the same duration of the video and I will see how I like it. And it kind of almost cuts off at the top right there so I'm just going to bring it down here and just play around with it, see what you like. And then when you're ready, just export. And there you made a short. So I hope that was helpful. And most importantly, please have fun with it. Uh, Wondershare is an amazing tool. I've been using it since 2018. And it has like almost everything you could imagine, pretty much. If you would like to try Wondershare yourself, I'm leaving a link to their website in the description below. And there you could download a free version. And if you like it, you could purchase it. So once again, happy editing and have a great day or night.